Alex, can you hear us? Yes. Fantastic. Why don't you start? Because you might drop out in 30 seconds. He's muted now. And now he's muted himself again. <laughs> Hi, Josh. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. How are you going? Sorry, I'm having an absolute <laughs> minute area. Um, Grand Slam week. Uh, you must be really excited. Yeah, obviously, um, it's gone well so far. Um, it's been challenging, but four from four at the minute. And um, we're just looking this week to keep it as we have done and um, look forward to the game on Friday. Personally, how happy have you been with your form? Obviously, you had a, a long time out, but you seem to have hit the ground running again. Yeah, obviously, I was out for a while, but um, it's nice to be um, back and uh, involved in the team and uh, obviously getting, getting the run of games and uh, to where we are in the position we are now is has been uh, fantastic, really. And do you feel there's still more to come from you personally? Because the more you play, the, the better you get, usually. Yeah, I'd hope so. Obviously, um, every week um, you look at improving the game, your game, your own game, and uh, keep moving forward. So that's what I just want to keep progressing my game and uh, hopefully uh, keep it keep it going. And these are the the weeks that I guess when you're out for a long time with injury that you really look forward to? Yeah, um, kind of asked for a, a better start, really. Um, but this is obviously is a big weekend coming, come in, but at the, at the end of the day, we've got to make sure we get this um, week right and work on what we left out on the pitch last week. And uh, hopefully you can um, obviously get a win on the weekend. Thanks, I'll let Simon go next. Hiya, Josh, how are you, man? Yeah, not too bad. Um, we haven't really talked to you that much about exactly what you went through in the autumn, you know, in terms of that injury. I mean, as we understood it, you kind of, you picked up the bang, the concussion in, in a training ground game with the Blues, and it was a kind of a long wait, really, to get yourself fit. How difficult was that period? And were, were there any points where you were starting to wonder, when's this going to come right? Um, obviously, I've had um, concussion in the past, but it's just um, not knowing kind of thing. Like, you know when you're ready to be out on the park and obviously with the medical staff and all the expertise around that you kind of you get that good response from them and you 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 feel comfortable to be back out on the pitch and obviously we go through a long winded process of ticking boxes and all the boxes are ticked and it is nice to be back on the pitch what were the kind of main issues in terms of when you were thinking oh this isn't quite right was it tiredness fatigue how, how can you explain it um, well, it was just a little bit of a headache, but that was coming from my neck, which was just a t tight muscle. So I could have possibly been back sooner, but these things add up and you don't really know what's going on. So it's, it's a learning curve. Like it's not everyone knows exactly what's the right way. Everyone's concussion's different. I suppose the point is 10 years ago, you'd have probably just played on, wouldn't you? So everyone's become a lot more aware, haven't they? Yes, that's correct. Uh, just in terms of the French game now, John was talking about them arguably being the most physical challenge out there from your experience of playing the French in the past. Can you explain what it's like up front against them? Yeah, well, we all know that they're, they're big, strong men. Um, they've got a real good pack, um, a physical pack, and um, they're driving line out. Um, it just shows from the, the, the championship they're in and the way they've been playing, and they've got a bit about them as well, attacking attacking wise as well um they've just got all rounded game and it's quite exciting to um go out there and everything to play for on um on saturday you got man of the match of the weekend how did you actually view your own performance um obviously it's bit something to work on i'm never happy do you know what I mean but it's all, it's all about the team performance at the end of the day we got out there got the job done and everything we spoke about in the week we um we delivered There's a few things that we need to work on, but we can do put that right this week. Good, good luck to you, man. Have a good one. Right, cheers. Hi, Josh. Um, just talking about that French coming up, I imagine you, you guys hope it's a bit less dramatic than the last time you played them away there in the Six Nations 2019. What are your memories of that? 16 0 down at half time and then the comeback? Yeah, well, it was, it was a strange one. We, we knew we weren't out of the game, obviously, um, didn't play well. Um, the conditions weren't great, but um, um, coming in half time, we knew that we could have put the things right and the game was still to play for. So um, 
hopefully it's a, it's a dry track, but you never know with the weather these days. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. And it's going to be a challenge. We all know that. But um, hopefully we can get the win. Um, just talking about the back row, people are really enjoying the way that you and um, Talupe and Justin are all combining well together. What's it like playing with those two and the balance you guys have got between the three of you? Yeah, well, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I've said in the past that playing with Toby and Justin um, is amazing. And obviously the workloads is shared across the back row, but they're world-class players and every game that we get, get to play together, I, I really embrace it and really enjoy it. And we feed off each other, which is a good thing. And that's what you need. I'll let the others go. Cheers. Hi Josh, uh, you um, you were part of the progressive rugby letter to World Rugby regarding um, concussion. Can you just talk about your your part in that? Yeah, well, at the end of the day, it's just um, it's all about the player welfare and the ongoing research that they they looking to achieve. So um, it's just good to put my name to it and um, obviously support them. If the more research we can do and benefit the future generations of the game, and obviously supporters, fans, and and players and all that um, is just something that that'll be positive for the game in the future. Thanks. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll leave it there. Cheers, guys.